Hey there Facebook, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and today I've got a bit of a funny message coming to you guys um, based on my experience yesterday um, going and trying out um, just a new place to go get a massage from and it turned into um, kind of an experience that I started running away from and then I went into it. So. That is what ultimately made me want to um, do this message for you guys today, um, which is to transform that fear into fun. All right, so I'm going to start with telling you guys a story and tell you exactly what um, kind of happened um, last night. So if you watched my Facebook Live yesterday, then you know that I was um, I just recorded it just before I was about to take off and go and get a massage. And I'd wanted a massage for a while and, um, and anyway... I, um, there's only a couple of places that I know of, like just locally to where I live and they're, I don't know, they're just kind of those walk in, walk out sort of massage places. And I just, I kind of felt like I wanted to go to, you know, a, a proper kind of spa place. And so I was kind of looking online and I, I didn't think that there was anything close, but as I was searching, this deal came up and it said, oh, it's like it was in my suburb. And I was like, what? I've never heard of that place. That's so cool. And I get a deal. This is happening for a reason. So I was like, okay, get this deal. I was really excited. Boom. I was like, where is this place? Because I, I looked at the address and it was like down the main street. And I was like, I'm, I do. I go down that main street like almost every day and I've never seen this place. So I gave them a call just before I was about to head out. And um, and they said, oh no, we're like in the main street entrance of the shopping center. So I'm like, okay, I've never seen this place. It's right directly where they're saying they are is right directly um, from where I go to the gym. So I'm like, can't believe I haven't seen this place. Anyway, I go there, I get there just in time and I rush in and I'm trying to find it. And then I look at this place and I was like, oh my God, that's it. And honestly, um, you know, honestly, if I'd have seen it and like, I would never have walked in there to like book anything. So I already was like, Oh God, what's this? Went in there and, uh, you know, got served. It was very like kind of weird and clinical, but like, I don't know, just weird. And, um, the, um, the, uh, receptionist, um, you know, um, was actually a lady boy. Um, I don't know if you guys know what a lady boy is, but they're, you know, just like a, um, uh, I don't know really, like a, a homosexual man who, um, you know, perceives himself to be a woman. I don't know. I'm not being, um, you know, uh, don't, this is going to go really wrong. I hope I'm not offending anybody. But anyway, it was a man, um, presenting himself as a woman, um, at the counter and, um, and then this other really tall guy came out and then, he wasn't speaking any English and um, they were just kind of speaking amongst themselves. I think they were speaking Thai and and then um, they just kind of shuffled me down the back of this place and there was nobody else there and it was kind of like a cross between a doctor's surgery and like a, sort of a massage place but it was just really strange and weird. Anyway, and they kind of handed me like, you know, disposable underwear sort of thing and then just kind of, you know, this guy who couldn't speak English was just like, you know, here you go, um, sort of thing and couldn't speak anything. And I said to him, oh, do I put these on and get on the table? And he was like, haha. And it was just this weird experience. All right. And then <laughs> I stood in there for a minute and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, this is too weird. Like I'm not doing this. I can't do this. <laughs> and I, and I came out of the door and it was like, it felt like that was a kind of challenge for me to just like decide this is not right. And I came out the door and, you know, the, um, the receptionist, um, came up, she's like, what's, you know, and she could speak quite well. And she said, Oh, what's going on? And I said, Oh, look, I just feel really uncomfortable. I don't know really what I'm doing here. Do I put these on? Like, what am I doing? Um, because I had this whole package. I was going into a steam room. I was getting this massage, I was doing all these things. And, uh, and anyway, she kind of directed me back and she was, you know, spoke very good English and told me exactly what to do. And then I get down there and I was thinking, oh no, do I have like a, a male masseuse or I don't really care, but it's nice to know. And, um, and that, you know, that this big tall guy who couldn't speak a word of English, 
um, was my masseuse and um, yeah I don't know it was just like this really weird experience because he was like in training gear and anyway it was super weird and it was like just a, a such a funny experience but why my message for you guys today is all about you know transforming the fear to fun is because I was absolutely like I gotta get out of here it was like I was you know, I was ready to fly, like just straight out of that place because it was so weird and, um, you know, I didn't know what was going on and it just was really uncomfortable and there was miscommunication going on left, right and center. And, um, and anyway, I decided to just suck it up and I thought, you know what, it's going to be a funny story to tell. Um, who knows what's going to happen? So I just decided to like, as I was just laying there and having this man massage, full body massage, um, you know, I just thought to myself, uh, just relax, just relax. It's going to be funny. Just relax. Just take it all in. You're here to relax. Just forget about it. And, and it was, it was a pretty good massage anyway. So whatever. And I had a, a different experience with this steam room thing where I got into this capsule afterwards and, um, it was good cause I, I like the feeling of a sauna, but I never feel like I can breathe. So it was like a capsule with my head out. So it was kind of cool. But anyway, um, it was a really weird, funny experience that I had a big crack up session of, um, afterwards, uh, sharing it, um, you know, afterwards, but Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys um, today in the hope that maybe you can transform those situations where you just want to run away and you're just like, this is weird and this is, I got to get out of here and actually find the fun and actually find, you know, your ability to, you, you know, you can laugh or you can cry. So what if it's a funny experience? What if it becomes a story to tell? Um, you know, and some different transitions and decisions that I've made um, over the last day or two that I'm going to share with you guys soon. I can't wait. I'm just trying to keep myself contained. Um, a few of you guys already know because I'm not very good at keeping things to myself, but um, as you know. Um, but anyway, um, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that... I forget what I was going to say exactly because I got too caught up in the decision. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I'm really kind of transforming um, who I am right now. And that's um, from the work that I'm doing with Dr. Joe Dispenza. You know, I'm, I'm really learning that if we want to step into a new reality, we have to change who we are right now in this present moment. And so that was kind of part of it. I was like, oh, really want to run away. And I was like, no, nah, like who I'm moving into and where I'm going is somebody who's like, just take it all in and have fun with it and like have a laugh out of it and just trust yourself and back yourself and don't run away in fear. At least you're going to have a laugh. So I'm hoping that it um, is a value to you guys just sharing that weird story in the hope that next time you find yourself in some weird circumstance, do something different, find the fun, um, find, you know, have a laugh of it uh, at it and just relax and know that at the, the worst case scenario, you're going to have a funny story to tell in whatever scenario that is. And, uh, and it ended up being good. So new experiences all around. So I definitely want to check in with you guys. Have you got any questions? Have you got any comments? Have you got any funny um, massage stories to tell me? I don't know. Um, but let me know and say hi. I'd love to hear from you. But I've got Sam in the house and Gregory and Zane and Tanya and Dawn. Yay. And uh, Sam, well, love your hairdo. Thank you, my friend. Whipped it up. And uh, uh, Vanessa's in the house. And uh, Arshid is here. And Tiger. And Oscars. Yay, I get you again. And uh, Brad. And Carlos. And Dave. And Samuel. And Klaus. Best wishes to you. And Ray's here. And Kadri. Yay. Great to see you, beautiful. And Sam. Um, yay, massage. I'm jealous. <laughs> I love it. Well, it was interesting and a very interesting experience. Not at all what I expected. Um, so maybe another lesson in it is to just drop the expectations, roll with it. I don't know. Um, but Brian's here. I loved seeing you. And uh, and Francisco and Moises and Stephanie and uh, Dawn. You always seem to talk on exactly what I'm thinking. Fun is what I have been thinking of to surrender to my feminine side. Oh, I love that, Dawn, um, particularly because this month's masterclass was all about masculine and feminine. And I know that, um, yeah, you want to step more fully into that core of who you are, that feminine side of yourself. So absolutely surrendering, surrendering to the spontaneity, not needing to control, just kind of go with the flow and have fun with it. So I love that, Dawn. That's so beautiful. And Sam, yes, it was so weird. And, um, 
Uh, oh, I had something else I was going to say, but I don't want to offend anybody, so I won't. I don't know. I might. But anyway, uh, yes, it was super weird, Sam. And uh, yeah, it was totally funny as well, Dawn. And um, and I love the love that you spread so so much, guys. And George, hello, everyone. Hi, Vanessa. I just wanted to say that I really want everyone to accept and acknowledge the fact that this world will throw so many curveballs at you. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to laugh, live and enjoy your life, even if it's weird. Exactly, George. I love that. And exactly what today's message is all about. Um, and uh, yeah, so, you know, throw yourself into those new experiences, particularly if they're weird. You know, anything that's weird is just not your norm. So wouldn't it make sense that you're going to learn something, you're going to grow, get curious and have fun and expand the mind. That's what I like doing. <laughs> so thank you, George. I love you being here. And uh, Doug and Gamal, good issue. And I like your new look. Oh, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. And uh, Sam, I go to Chinese and Thai massage. I love the experience um, when they give me table bath. Oh yeah. And deep massage, um, stepping on my back and applying heavy pressure. I love it. It's so funny. Whenever I go and have a massage, um, they're always like, oh, is it too, is it too rough, too hard? And I'm always like, harder, harder, harder. I've not yet met a, mass, a masseuse who has um, been able, like I've had to say not hard enough. Even when I was in Thailand and when I lived in Thailand, I got a massage like every second day because they were like $10 and why not? You're in Thailand. And uh, yeah, I love Thai massage. Um, but yeah, gosh, like oh, this woman I was going to was absolutely brutal. And isn't that funny? You know, at the time, I was laughing with my um, my partner at the time because whenever he'd give me a massage, if it was too sore, like he'd know about it. Um, but in this um, time massage, I was like, oh, just didn't make a sound, just let her do her thing, but it was brutally painful. Um, but you know, I always think like whenever it's really painful, you need it and it's going to do you some good. So just like grin and bear it and take the pain. So I love that, Sam. Thanks for sharing. And uh, yeah, love Thai massage. Um, and uh, I don't really like the, the water, the table bath thing because I always, I don't know, I get too cold. But I loved the steam capsule thing that I was in. It was so cool. And, uh, and Sam, what kind of massage was it, Thai or Swedish? It was not really, um, it was just kind of a typical relaxation meditation. Um, I think it was more geared towards actually more of a Swedish massage compared to um, a Thai massage. Um, but it was, yeah, it was good in spots, but it was just like stock standard. I don't even know if you had any experience or whatever. It was weird. Um, and Jamantis is here. Awesome. And Dawn, I keep listening um, to a lot of change your mind, change your beliefs, change your life. Boom. Um, so good. I want you to teach me more of Dr. Joe Dispenza, um, way to connect. I love that Dawn. And absolutely in the master classes, as I master more of these techniques, I absolutely, that's the name of my game, right? I'm always the guinea pig and I'm always, um, you know, working out what's most valuable, what I have the experience with working with my clients on what's working for them, what's not working, tweaking, adjusting, molding and implementing and delivering it to to you guys so that you can fast track your success and not have to go through all the time and effort that um, it takes me to get there. Um, but I love that Dawn and thanks for letting me know that you'd be absolutely um, inspired to learn more um, from me with the work that I'm doing with Dr. Joe Dispenza. I'd love to do that. And Sam, I normally go for two hours, deep massages, massage and reflexology. Um, I enjoy excessive pressure and pain. Me too. It's good fun because it's always going to be good for you. Um, and uh, yes, I love it. And uh, yeah, two hours is good. This one went for um, at 90 minutes. But yeah, the longer the better. I love that. That's so good, Sam. And uh, Vanessa, great message, Vanessa. I heard a quote once, those who find humor in a situation win. abso friggin lutely um, It's the whole thing. You got to laugh or you cry, got to cry. And honestly, all of those different stories that I have so far, you know, collected throughout my life that, you know, could go one way or the other. You could get, you could seriously cry. Um, they've actually become like the funniest stories of my life that I continue to reminisce about um, with those people that I had those experiences with where other people might like really just hate life and like think it's the worst possible experience. But you know, it's so funny when you can see the other side, when it's that terrible that you can like laugh at it. 
absolutely you win i love that vanessa and so great to see you again and uh bill's here awesome and dawn yes vanessa i love to laugh need to do it more absolutely and i love that you're saying hi to dawn too vanessa i love you guys connecting oh my community love you guys and uh sam if you want heavy deep massage ask them to use their elbow knees and heavy feet yeah, well, that's what this Thai woman was doing to me. And she was strong, like seriously strong. Oh my gosh, the most painful um, experience, like right on the, the inner thigh near your knee. Oh my God, I don't know if it's just me or it's like in general, but she was really brutal. It was the most pain I've ever been in my life and I didn't make a sound. <laughs> but part of Scientology or something, apparently they... They can't make a sound in childbirth. That's kind of how I felt um, getting this Thai massage. Um, but anyway, and Shai is here and Tayeb and Bradley and Thomas Love and uh, Mariam. Oh, something's happening with my screen. Oh, there we go. And Sam, love you, Dawn. Beautiful and fabulous soul. You're gorgeous. Oh, love all the love. So guys, um, that really is my message. I hope that me sharing my funny experience that I went through yesterday um, has kind of just yeah get, empowered you to think about finding the humor in all of those painful experiences or weird experiences and learn and grow. I have a funny story at the end of the day. And uh, and Dawn, that's why I love you as my coach. Um, it, just said, um, it just said, keep people in your life that support and love you and your teaching. And the Limitless Potential Group um, is exactly that. Absolutely, Dawn. And I so appreciate you being such a massive part of our beautiful Limitless Potential Inner Circle community. You're such a superstar. And uh, Kadri, um, everything depends depends on the point of view. Absolutely. It's all perspective. Your power is in your perspective. Absolutely agree with you, Kadri. I can never say your name. You still got to train me. Um, but I absolutely love those words of wisdom. And Billy's here and Judy and uh, and Sam. Love your wild and adventurous spirit. You rock, babe. Thank you so much, Sam. I appreciate those kind, kind words. And um, I'm about to sign off Hope this has served you. Hope you got it, having a brilliant day or night wherever you are. And I'm sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary um, and everything empowering coming to you. And I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining and contributing. Um, and Philly, much love to you, beautiful. Great that you're um, catching me and anybody just catching me now, I really hope that you get the recording, get a ton of value from today's message, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Much love.